I'm going to be doing a drawing with a stick. There's no special sort of stick, it's just a first stick that I found outside. And here in my little specimen jar is a bunch of waterproof ink. And here is the image which I will be drawing. I'm going to choose this kind of area. Maybe like this. Something like that. That kind of area there. Now, the thing about a stick is that it increases your ability to be spontaneous. Or to put it another way, it decreases your ability to be precise. And as I always say about art, good art is always about being somewhere between completely spontaneous and being extremely careful. So this is a good way of just forcing you to be quite spontaneous and then also to think about what you're doing as well. So you just dip your, your stick in, it doesn't hold ink particularly well. You'll find it um, runs out of ink rather quickly, um, but therein lies the good things that you can do with this particular technique. So I'm just going to roughly sketch it out first, focusing on the dark tones because uh, you're not able to not able to control how much ink comes out. So if you focus on the darkest tones first, then you're able to do some lighter lines after that ink runs out a little bit, like now. So it becomes a lot more scratchy. And now I'm gonna continue to try and just sketch some of these, these forms here. Now at some stage, this is gonna run completely out of ink. And I'm just going to have to dip it again and then come back to the darkest tones all over again. So we're listening to Sonic Youth because they are quite spontaneous. And it's a nice compliment to the kind of technique that we're trying today. Okay, here we go. Back to our shadows. So I'm gonna to start to block in these shadows a little bit. Maybe this one over here too. I like to sort of jump between areas a little bit. It's even hard to hold onto the stick so it kind of fumbles around in your uh, in your hand a bit too. I'll work back into that blob that I had there. Now I might just do the shelf looking thing that's over here. Continue that one across. Pull that down a little bit, don't it too high. dark shadows in now. Maybe a little stem there. Maybe the edge of that there as well. Nearly knocked over my entire ink pot. That would have been fun. Would have added to the stains on this piece of masonite.
I'm just working through this a little bit to try and get some of the darkest shadows sorted out on those grapes. Maybe even a nice dark shadow running along that stem too. Those uh, reflections happening too, and the and the shadow that's been cast by those other two grapes on this one here. So there's another little glimpse at the uh, reference image that I'm working from. What I'm trying to achieve here is the shadows, the dark shadows here. There, there, and then later on I'm gonna get the secondary shadows here. And the secondary shadows here and here and there. So this is a time consuming process because you're just having to keep dipping over and over again and also mitigating that level of imprecision that you are forced to have. Okay, now this stick is running out a bit. I'm just going to put some of this secondary shadowing in here. Oh, it's going to be a bit scribbly. So you continue to get the idea here. What I might do is pause the video there, stop the video for a sec, continue on a little bit and then um, show what it looks like at the end um, and re -video, restart the video if I do anything different because it's pretty much the same sort of process right through. And you can see the sorts of lines that I'm choosing have to be loose and messy because um, because you just have to sort of get the ink off the stickers any way you can because it, it's, uh, you just got to sort of rub it and scrape it like this and um, when you first dip it in there is no way of controlling the kinds of, the kinds of lines that you're going to have and that's part of the beauty of it, trying to make order out of disorder. Pause the video there and we'll see what's going to happen next. So what I'm currently doing is just putting a little bit of dark down there initially and then taking and just sort of letting the most of the ink come off the stick before I come up here to do some of the more subtle shadow work like this and then just trying to get um, a lot of those subtle areas. I think we're going to leave the background white, contrary to the original image here, um, and possibly even add a little bit of colour. Possibly. Perhaps we can leave that colour work for a, uh, a, a later technique, perhaps, uh, which I'll show you later. Possible. Depends how this goes. But at the moment, just putting some bl blackness down there, maybe on the shadow here, and then going back up again to do some of the subtle work here. And right, again, I will stop the video for a sec. I'll try and resolve this. It needs more resolution here, more resolution in the grapes here, a bit more between the edge of the, the edge of the um, jug and the background here, just so that you can see the difference between them. Um, this is starting to look okay this area here, but it still needs a little more work. Well, this looks more or less finished. I think that perhaps maybe I could do a little more over here on the handle or something else like that, but it's basically finished. And um, now I've just defined a lot of these areas fairly well. Um, it's all sort of blending into one another because it's 
it's uh, so such scratchy lines. Um, but I think this is more or less do it. Later on, you may see this image again when uh, I demonstrate some stuff on utilizing photocopy work or um, perhaps adding color or revisiting this um, through other mediums.